Hi, here I am once again. Um, I just wanted to give you some tips on the kinds of different materials that I work with when I'm making dog clothes. So I'm talking about the outer layer in order to make it um, as water resistant and waterproof as possible. So I've got some different samples here that I just want to show you. Um, and I'm going to run through sort of my least favorite to my most favorite materials that I work with. This is probably my least favorite material, but it still works really well. This is a thicker material. It's great for waterproofness. It, um, it has sort of a canvas um, texture to the outside. Uh, and on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it has a little bit of a rubber coating on it. Uh, and it's uh, the reason it's super waterproof works great. There's a couple reasons that I'm not thrilled with it, but it works. Um, but the reasons I don't love working with this is it's just a bit stiff. It's um, it, as you can kind of see, it just it doesn't really scrunch up really well. Um, it's harder to sew with because if you start working with this kind of thick material plus a fleece. Um, and then if you're working with Velcro, those kind of things, all of it starts to add up to be a lot to sew through on your machine. Um, and it's a bit sticky. So when it's when you're sewing with it, it, it uh, sticks to the, uh, the feed, the uh, presser foot at the top, and also the, the dogs from the feed dogs from below. So it gets a little bit sticky on that. So that's a bit challenging to work with. However, tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit about some tips and tricks that I do to work around these problems because I've got a couple of really great ideas for you. So um, this coat, this type of material, um, it does kind of hang a little bit stiffer too when it's on the dog. Still works just fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit more challenging to work with. Um, this is a very typical kind of material that you'll find when you're looking for um, waterproof and water resistant materials. It's uh, kind of a little bit like a, a cotton canvasy sort of feel to it. It's much thinner than the one I just showed you. So when I scrunch this up, you can see it just it folds down really nicely. It hangs beautifully on the dog. Um, it looks really great in a coat. It has this is why it, it this is what I say you'll see the most out there. It's got this, this um, rubberized painted coating on the back. And um, over time, this painted coating does wear down. If you've ever looked at like a jacket that you've owned, maybe a rain jacket or something like that, and over time, it's just not as waterproof as it used to be. If you ever look at the inside of that coat, if you ever take out the lining and take a look at it, you'll probably see that this white painting, this rubberized painting is starting to peel away from the back from this material. So it's it's a great material, but it doesn't last forever. But one of the reasons that like, last in the sense of water resistance. Um, however, one of the reasons that it is a challenge when you're sewing is again, as I was just talking about, it's really sticky. This is this is a rubber kind of feeling to it. So it's a bit challenging to sew with. So again, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks to get around that because this is great material and I do work with it a lot. Um, and, and it does last for several years for waterproofness. So don't worry about that white coming off right away when you sew with it. It does. It, it is actually very effective as a waterproof material. But um, it does get challenging. Once again, if you're sewing on this side, if you're sewing on the white side um, and the presser foot can get kind of gummed up on that, especially after you're working and it gets warmer and it actually does start to stick to it. Uh, and then also the feed dogs from below, it will stick to this as well. So again, tips and tricks tomorrow on how to deal with that. Um, okay, so the next one that uh, I really love working with is when you can get to find these materials that have like a silver backing on them. You can buy these on Amazon. Um, AliExpress sells them as well. I've also found them in several of the uh, local sewing and fabric stores. So you can find these pretty easily, um, and, but they're not as typical. So this particular material is very thin. Um, it's awesome for like a shell if you're not working with something, if you're not looking for something that's quite as thick, like a winter coat where you're going to put the, the uh, fleece on the inside, but you can totally work with fleece on this. But if you were going to do just a shell, like a spring shell or something just for the rain, this is a great material for that. This silver kind of sheeny um, that you can see on the back, that is actually very, this is the waterproofing and it's not sticky like the white 
um, painted on that I just showed you. This is actually fused to the material and it's um, it, it lasts a long time for waterproofing and water 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 resistance. Um, so this is a great material. Love it. Super easy to work with. It slides through your feed dogs and your uh, presser feet. It works really easy. And lastly, the one I want to show you again is this is probably my all time favorite material. Um, and again, I have found this in local stores, so it is easy to pick up. It's not rare, but um, this one, I'm going to try to put this right up to the camera. It actually has a little bit of a texture to it. It, uh, it is this sort of silver back. It's a nice soft um, feel to the top of it. It has a nice texture to it. And the back, this is actually reflective. Um, it, I've never actually been able to expose any of this in any of the coats that I make because I always have some kind of a lining on the coats. But if this was uh, uh, folded out and you could see it from the outside of the coat, this is uh, this would catch the light and reflect the light back. So it's kind of a neat feature. But um, mostly I use this because it is a dream to work with. Doesn't stick at all while you're sewing. Uh, it it um, is very forgiving to work with and it's just an awesome awesome material so tomorrow i'm going to check in with you and i'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get around the challenges of working with some of the more sticky materials that are a bit challenging to work with because there's a couple of tips that i use all the time so uh, thanks for checking in it was great to connect with you again and i hope to see you back here again tomorrow okay bye